Hello, my name is David Byrne. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about the cost of living in America and what we can do about it. The solution that we covered today won't necessarily fix your problems today, won't fix my problems, but it will give us a window into how we can start. The reality is you're being lied to. Everyone's lying to you. Everyone's just making it up on based on a few facts here, a few facts there, you can jump to conclusion on what is driving up the cost of living in America. So what can we do to get the real facts? Well, here's my solution. Basically what you're seeing is, is a couple of columns that I want to reach out and, and pass a law requiring different bodies of government and business entities to work together to produce a clear report, a long form, easily readable report with charts that explain to Americans exactly what is driving up their costs. So I provide a couple of examples. Let's start with Georgia Department of Revenue. I, mean, I want them to be a part of this initiative. I want them to help build this report and provide context for, hey, why is the grocery, why are groceries more expensive? Why is your car more expensive? Why can I not buy a truck for under $50,000 anymore? So what can they do for Georgia Department of Revenue? Well, they have access to all your taxes. So anyone who files a tax return in the state of Georgia, this would be even more effective if it was the IRS, they know the cost of labor for those businesses. They know the cost of materials for those businesses. They know the profit margins for those businesses. They know executive compensation. They know all of that information. You start to get a really good picture when you just break down someone's tax returns. Now, of course, tax returns are sometimes inflated and sometimes things are matched, but the reality is if you do that and you do it too often, you're at risk of audit and you'll get fined. So the people who are collecting the tax return, they very clear picture they could easily provide us with a industry by industry, size by size breakdown. Hey, you know, ho you know, car manufacturers of this size on average, here's their profit margins. Here is their executive compensation. Here's the high, the low, the median, the mean. Same with the cost of labor. Here's your average, co you know, cost of labor per vehicle. What is as a percentage, is the labor cost, 5%, 10%, 30% of the cost, which the cost of materials per vehicle. Break it down by size, very detailed. Same goes for groceries. Why are your groceries going up? Is it Kroger that's making a ton of money? Or is it farms that are making a ton of money? Who's making a ton of money? Or is everyone just getting by and food's just expensive? We don't know. Department of Labor, another example. This is not an exhaustive list. We're just starting. Department of Labor, they provide labor insights, labor availability. Really, these people, the Department of Revenues, can provide the numbers. And from here on down, we're going to provide context. Labor is expensive. Why is labor expensive? Department of Labor. Is there a labor shortage? Is there a lack of labor training? Do we need more training? They provide context into the picture. Chamber of Commerce. This is not a government entity. It's a coalition of businesses. Get the state level, federal level, local level Chamber of Commerce. Get them to tell you, hey, what is the business context and the world events? I'm going to go ahead and draw some connecting lines for you. Right there. What is, how do we, great, we know the cost of labor, but hey, why uh, was shipping costs so expensive? Well, in 2023 and 2024, let me pick a different color. First, you had Ukraine. That drove up shipping costs. And then you had the war with Israel, between Israel and uh, Gaza. And eventually the Houthis joined in. And all of a sudden, no one is shipping through the Red Sea. No one's shipping through the Suez Canal. They're all going all the way around the Horn of Africa. And you can see, okay, there was major world events that actually affected the cost of goods. And that's inflation. That's how inflation works. Maybe world events are an excuse, right? Maybe the world events have long subsided. And we are like, hey, you know, shipping has returned to normal. Prices have stayed high. 
Well, maybe that, does that mean profit? You should see a spike in profit margins or a spike in compensation. When you take all these and you by law require a comprehensive report to be made on a yearly or every six month basis, probably yearly, we'll finally have a clear picture into what is driving up cost in America. No more selective annotate, or, uh, anecdotes. We'll really have a good picture of what's happening in America. Transparency is key. And it is through the weapon of transparency that we will actually be able to tackle rising cost of living in America. It's that simple. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Please join in my campaign and let's make a difference in this world. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned in the channel. Really helps. I need the support in order to keep going in order to make a difference. Join me.